Beseech, beseech. No ritual, no mana. Beseech, mana. Keep six. Just need to draw a dark ritual. 7.5% chance. Let's do it. Ooh, look at that. Hey, there we go. That's what we like. Wizards has given us Dark Ritual. Let us enjoy it. <laughs> Beseech with Bargain or another Beseech. Cast Beseech with Bargain or a Mizzix Mastery. Use Mizzix Mastery to take Beseech, cast it with Bargain for a Tendrils of Agony for 20. Beep, 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 beep. Yes, same target. Ah. <laughs> well, that's how it works. Ah, uh, uh, 20 damage turn one. Well, a little more even. How beautiful. The theory of this deck is very simple. We get two mana from sacrificing our Ornithopter to Phyrexian Tower and use one mana to cast Dark Ritual for a total of four. And then Beseech the Mirror sacrifices these artifacts to get more copies of Beseech the Mirror until we have enough storm to cast Tendrils of Agony for lethal. Once Upon a Time gives a little redundancy in as much as it can find either Tower or Ornithopter. And then there's these creatures that go to the graveyard immediately upon entering the battlefield if their cast are zero. But uh, if we have multiple copies of Dark Ritual, they can hang around uh, as one ones. Maybe that's useful in some cases, especially on the draw to eight cards, uh, and they increase the storm count, uh, which together with using Once Upon a Time to increase the storm count by one, that sometimes might be relevant, but, but not very often. This deck is uh, pretty good at winning on turn one. We have here the Deculator, and this is a very rough draft, uh, even not counting those 10 uh, other creatures that aren't really super useful. Uh, we have a 0.3% chance of drawing this seven-card hand. So uh, there you go. If you want to win turn one, this is a good way to do it.